how to get cucumber seedlings in seven days so today i'm gonna show you how to, you can get cucumber seedlings in a very short period of time so i started most of my seeds and i uh forgot to uh, start the seed for cucumbers so we're gonna try to see if we can get it um get our seedlings as early as seven or eight days so let's get started and i'll show you what i'm gonna do too so these are the seeds that we're gonna the cucumber seeds we want to plant we want to germinate so you want to make sure you have enough seeds uh for your garden so you just want to make sure you, you put a little bit more seeds and these seeds are from my uh, seed collection from last year that i harvested for my garden so what we need is we need water we need a cup and we need hydrogen peroxide so i'm gonna put uh, the seeds into this uh, cup you can use a cup a jar whatever you want to use that's fine and then i'm gonna um put the water so you want to put like a quarter cup of water and then you put like i'll uh, say three drops of hydrogen peroxide so let's put uh, water in there and you want to make sure that the water is enough to cover completely all the seeds and if there's any seeds that are floating after pouring the water you can take the seeds out or you can just let it uh, in there and then just take the, take it out when you uh, and the seeds start germinating so we're gonna put like three like two or three um uh, drops of hydrogen peroxide since it's a little bit of water we don't need too much so just two or three drops should do i think that's enough now we're just gonna put the uh, cup in a nice uh, warm area uh, and just let it be for a, a day or two okay um 36 hours later uh, as you can see some of the uh, um some of them have started uh, germinating two days later um this is what we have after two days the uh the most of them have started germinating and uh it's time for us to transplant them so um i what I'm gonna do is now I'm just gonna take it out. Uh, we're gonna take them out since they're all uh, germinating like that. Then we're gonna put them in our, make our seed starting mix and then just put it in our seed starting containers. And that should, uh, uh, they should continue uh, germinating and uh, growing from there. So I'm just gonna look for a container. Um, I'm gonna use a, p a piece of paper towel over here. Let's see. So here I'm just, I just put some paper towel to sift it out so that I can get all the seeds out without uh, maybe breaking the heads or anything like that. So you can still uh, let it continue for another day, but I um, just want to be exact. I just took it out uh, 48 hours later, and then now we're just going to uh, plant it in our seed starting containers. So the seed starting containers, um, I make my own uh, seed starting mix. I have a video that shows you how to make your own seed starting mix. I'll see if I can put the links to those in the description below. Um, and also different ways of germinating your seeds. So I'm just going to put, uh, plant them in the seed starting tray. I'll put like a few uh, on each cell. So you want to plant them with the germinating head facing up like that. And you don't want to push it, you just want to uh so i merged the head uh the seeds completely into the into the seed starting mix and that should be fine if you are new to this channel please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified of all upcoming videos i have a lot more gardening videos coming up so you don't want to miss it so we're going to continue planting um all the uh all the seeds and let, just make sure that you don't press it in too much or break the germinating heads <coughs> excuse me also so just uh, let me know in the comments below if you've done something like this or if you know of other ways that you can germinate your um, seed a lot faster than this let me know in the comments below i will also like to learn from you um so that's it we're just gonna plant it uh, like that water it and uh, we'll see how it comes out okay uh, this is it I completely forgot to take a couple of pictures and videos uh, in the process I got so busy but this is it after um, eight days uh, the seedlings are ready to be transplanted some are like those that I just pointed to they are still trying to uh, they're still trying to germinate but most of them are already uh, big enough to be transplanted um, there's one right there also that's still germinating uh, but most of them right now we have at least um, six or, or, or eight um, 
cucumber seedlings that we can transplant right now. So this is how you uh, get your seedlings. At least it means, um, take a lot of time compared to the recommended time that it usually takes like uh, two weeks to get to this stage. We've uh, reduced that time by half. So uh, definitely something to try out and uh, hopefully helps you out in starting your seeds and germinating your seeds. Okay, uh, I think that's it for today. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share. Thanks for watching and uh, happy growing everybody.